Today our topic is 5 most common mistakes in palm rolling. The first one, tensed muscles. There is a reason why you are laying on the muscle staple when you are in normal muscles. Because your body is relaxed and then the body is receptible for the muscles. So if you have tension on your body, then you also have tension in your fascia and then you can't manipulate it. So for that reason you have to be relaxed. For example, you can test the difference between tensed muscles and relaxed muscles. When you have the tension, you can't feel the pressure anymore. Number two, foam rolling every single day. You don't go muscles in every single day because your body needs time to recover from the hard muscles. The muscles cause micro damages in the muscle fibers. So you need rest to recover from the damages. Use only two, maximum three times hard techniques with the foam roller. Number three, foam rolling with hard techniques before training. Be careful that you don't add too much pressure before training. It may relax your muscles and tap on the parasympathetic nervous system. Then your feeling is very clumsy before training. The tip is that use only light techniques. You can't feel any kind of pain when you're doing the foam rolling just before training. Number four, skip the warm up. If you go straightly to the hard techniques, there's a risk of sprains and injuries. So always remember to warm up your body before going the high pressure techniques. For example, stroking techniques for the warming up the muscle. Number five, tensing the half of your body. So if you're pushing the pressure on your arms, you have to remember that you also have low pressure on your lower body because your body is connected together by fascia. For that reason, try to always find as relaxed position as possible. 